everyone, I am Christy Newman and I have a farm and a business called Back to Stable. And the farm name is Silver Fox Farm. And this is one of my horses, Freckles. And I just fed him a special horse treat that he loves very much. They are apple treats. And I have a whole box of them here uh, for today while we work with him. So Freckles is a dressage horse, which is one of the Olympic sports. So he competes with me in dressage and uh, I train him. So in other videos, we'll talk about the different sports uh, that people ride horses in, but uh, just know that that's what he, his job is. That's what he does. And um, he is, I think, I don't know if I said it, but 19 years old and his color is chestnut. So horses come in lots of different colors and he has a big white blaze and a big white stocking at the back. So that's how we identify horses, is um, how they look with white markings or what color they are, what size they are. So today we're gonna learn about grooming and a little bit about the horses and how we work around them. So Freckles is shedding. It's springtime here. So he's very hairy and very itchy and is shedding a lot. So. Um, I'm going to go through the grooming for that with the horses when you're working around them they can't always see you because their eyes are at the sides of their head so they can't see us when we walk behind and that's okay I like to just keep talking to them so they know where I am and so and I keep sort of touching him as I move around him so he can always know where I am even if he can't see me so let's start grooming and then we'll talk a little bit about horses so from home, what I want you guys to do is use your imagination. Connect with the horses from home. So think about, in your imagination, what it feels like to be at the barn right now. So while you're sitting watching the video, I want you to kind of feel it's pretty cold today. I've got my long sleeve shirt on, I've got my hat on, it's kind of, it's warming up a little bit, but it's still kind of cold, so not cold enough for a coat. And Think about how a barn would smell maybe. So the barn has shavings, which is wood. So it kind of smells like kind of wood shavings and it has hay. So it smells kind of like grass. And then of course they use the stalls to go to the bathroom. So it smells like that sometimes. <laughs> so thinking about how the barn smells as well. Um, and then touching the horses. So when I touch his nose, it's super soft. His muzzle is, hello, is his softest part of his face and softest part of his body. And on his muzzle, just like a cat, they have little whiskers. And these whiskers are how he senses the world and how he finds his food. So it's very important that they have their whiskers. And he wants treats so he can have another one of his apple treats. Okay, so now you can kind of feel what that feels like to be working around him. He is about a thousand pounds and um, he's very tall. So you can see he's taller than me. <laughs> okay, so we have a curry comb and this is the first brush we're going to use. And this brush we go in circles all over his body. This is going to loosen up all the shedding hair. It also kind of massages his muscles as we go. And he loves this because he's very itchy, but he is very sensitive. He doesn't like things tickling him too much. So he likes this brush that's kind of rubbery and flexible. So here we go. So I start up by the top of his head. And as I'm doing the circles, <laughs> you can see the hair is flying off and into my nose. <laughs> He is very excited about it. Having the hair tickle me on my face is very tickly. <laughs> so we're gonna go in circles. And I go all over his body. Oh, see, he's super itchy. <laughs> so sometimes the horses will move around till I get the itchy spot. So just like your dog or your cat at home, they are just kind of the same. So he wants me to itch him over here apparently, where he can't reach. So we're gonna do circles all over his body. 
But this brush, we don't do on their legs because it's a little bit too hard of a brush to do on their legs. Even though this brush is kind of rubbery and bendable, it's still hard when he has bony legs. Okay, so the bone is underneath the skin and it can kind of be uncomfortable for them. So I'm brushing everywhere I can reach. And if I couldn't reach, I'd still try to reach. <laughs> So I have to reach up here and I can't see the top of them because I'm kind of short compared to him. So I am brushing the top just with my hand because my hand can reach even if my eyes can't. So I kind of use my imagination even here, right? So I can see or feel what is happening up there with my hand. So I know if he's clean or not up there. Whew. So much hair. Oh my goodness. So you can imagine at home connecting with him from your house. Oh, how much hair is getting all over me. It gets stuck to my clothes. Oh my goodness. He's trying to itch his other side already. He's speeding ahead. So now when you're new to working around a horse, you want to walk around the front of the horse. especially if it's a horse you don't know, and I always like to give him treats, um, you walk around the front so he can see where you are again. And then we're gonna use the same curry comb, the rubbery one, on this side. And so we start up at the top of his head so we don't miss any parts. And we work our way down. Oh my goodness, he's very itchy, very itchy. <laughs> do his chest. So in other videos, I will talk about all the different parts of the horse. So today we're just going to see how to groom them, but stay tuned and check out our other videos about different parts of the horses. So we want to do everything the same on both sides, right? Oh goodness, he's very itchy over here. Apparently I found the spot. You probably can see in the video his lips going like, oh my goodness, that feels so good. He's loving that. So you can imagine like yourself when you get an itch on your body, how nice it feels when you're able to itch it finally. If it's been driving you crazy and you haven't been able to get to it to itch it, that's what he feels like. And he has to use his teeth or his leg to itch himself. So I think he likes it when I itch it for him. So same thing on this side. I have to reach up here and use my imagination to reach the very top of him. Because I, I'm too short, I can't see up there. 